can you make music like Burzum? Let's find out. Burzum is the solo project of Vark Vikernes and was one of the first Norwegian black metal bands recording groundbreaking albums in the early 90s. Since then, Vark moved on to make more ambient-oriented music, which I will probably make a tutorial on in the future. Anyway, today we'll be taking a look at Burzum's style of black metal music, especially the Philosophem album. Burzum's approach to black metal is more minimalistic than most bands in the early 90s. Burzum's songs have little chains, the same riffs and chord progressions repeat over and over again against an unchanging and steady drum beat, creating a trance-like experience. A good way to approach writing a Burzum style song is to come up with two or three guitar riffs that repeat for 5 to 10 minutes. The best way to play this kind of music is to just play from the feels, but if you want a tip on the theoretical side of things, you could try out the Hungarian minor scale in your riff writing. This scale contains two minor chords half step apart from each other, and this alteration between two minor chords right next to each other is a key feature in some Burzum songs. When playing riffs, instead of just using power chords, you should go through all the strings on the guitar. You can use bar chords for this. You can add a simple lead guitar melody to some parts, but forget all about guitar solos. They just break the atmosphere that you are building. To get that sweet Philosophem guitar sound, you could use an old stereo as a guitar amp, like Vark did. But if you don't have access to such lo-fi tools, you can simulate a similar sound with the EQ settings. Once you have your heavily distorted guitar recorded, just cut the lows and boost the highs, something like this. For the drums, all you need to know are these two beats. No need for complex fills, you want to maintain the trance-like atmosphere. Moving on, the bass can just play the root notes and it can be relatively quiet in the mix. You can also play a melody on the bass if you want to spice things up a bit. You could also add an ambient synth lead for the extra atmosphere. As for the vocals, you should use whatever is the lowest quality microphone you have. Finding really low quality microphones can actually be pretty hard nowadays. Even mobile phones have near studio quality microphones. Look for something like a webcam, old Nokia phone or such. I found this old karaoke microphone that has really shitty sound. Additionally, I'm driving it through my multi-effect pedal to get extra distortion to the sound. For the lyrics, you can write about such topics as darkness, war, fantasy, mythology, and the meaning of life. Or all those at once. Come up with a Tolkien-inspired name for your project, make your logo in an old English font, and pick some old artwork for the cover of your album. Now, let's listen to our Bursum tribute.
That's it, huh? Wow. Remember to subscribe and like if you liked this video, dislike if you didn't like it, and until next time. Also, if you happen to like this song, you should check out this full EP I made as a tribute to Burson.